The new Red Dead Online Halloween update for the month of October has brought about five insane money bonuses as well as new payout changes for you to enjoy and so today on the show we're going to be breaking down all of the best ways for you to capitalize on these bonuses so that you can make tons of extra gold as well as money just by playing the game this month. These bonuses are some really good ones that we haven't seen in a while and you can either just relax and play for your own enjoyment and still stack currency or if you're more of a hardcore player, you can take the more grindy approach and just by being smart with running these missions and engaging with these activities, and overall just by selectively picking and choosing where to focus your efforts this month, you can make game-changing amounts of gold, money, and XP. So with that said, let's jump in. If you enjoy this video at any point, or if you just find it helpful, let me know by dropping a like on it. And if you wanna stay up to date with everything Red Dead Redemption 2 and Red Dead Online, then please consider hitting that subscribe button with your bell notifications turned on. Jumping in, let's talk about the major money bonus first. We have double money and XP on all collector set sales. This month, players could take advantage of a collector bonus when selling their sets to Madame Nazar, earning that double money and XP on all their collection sets sold. The individual items are not included here, so just keep that in mind. Additionally, there also is a double roll XP bonus applied to the XP earned when collecting these items, not from selling the sets. This means that if you're ranking up the roll, you can potentially max it out in about six hours here this month. The general game plan for earning almost $26,000 if you want to is to focus on collecting non-diggable items such as the four tarot card sets, family heirlooms, antique alcohol bottles, bird eggs, and wild flowers. The diggables were nerfed in 2020 and they don't really have static spawns on the daily now. They're more RNG when you pick them out of the ground after you dig them up with your shovel. So honestly, I would just say for a grind like this, it's just best to avoid focusing on the coins, jewelry, fossils, and the arrowheads unless you have the extra time to spare and you wanna pick up all the randomized items just to get all the ones that are possibly spawned for the day, even though they're not gonna be the exact item you may need. Collecting non-diggables, for example, is just gonna take on average about two hours. If you're really fast and you're lucky with the day cycle for each collection, you can do it in as little as about an hour and 35 minutes if you're really pushing it. It's best to complete your collection sets earlier in the day as the collectibles reset at 7 p.m. Central Time in the US right now, and you don't wanna get caught in the middle of your run with an item reset. You need each full day to take advantage of the opportunity if you're gonna go for everything. But all in all, you can earn $3,688 per day, accounting for just one set of wildflowers sold, for example, and three sets worth of wildflowers spawn each day. So if you wanna go for all three, go for it. If you just commit two hours of collector roll grinding per day this month, you can earn up to $103,264 with the collector roll this month. However, one may wonder, how do they locate all of these items we're talking about so they can collect such a significant amount? Well, in the description below, there is a link to the Gene Rocky interactive collector map that shows the location of each item updated in real time every single day. And this map is entirely accurate. It provides lots of information on how to plan the best collecting route. I recommend starting on the west side of the map in Gaptooth Breach near Tumbleweed, then work your way east, then north through West Elizabeth, up into the Grizzlies, and then southeast through New Hanover, into Lemoyne, and finally go north up the east side of the map to Ansburg. And finally, if you need, just head west to gather all those last remaining collectibles at the north center part of the map, if there are any up in the Amberino area, like I said, on that north side. Now, if it does help, you can also generate a route using the Gene Rocky map and cross-check items that you've just collected off the map so that there's no confusion when you go to sell. And notice you may have missed items because the set can't be sold just yet. If you're solely focused on maximizing your earnings, there's also an advanced method where you're responsible for keeping crypts producing goods for the trader role, as well as delivering moonshine. This option is certainly ideal for players who don't really mind taking breaks and they have a strong drive to earn as much money as possible this month. To begin with this method, just make sure your moonshine is producing and the trader has a full stack of materials to work with. Gather materials in any way you like, such as by hunting legendaries or doing your free roam hunting. Then once your businesses are producing, you have approximately 50 minutes to collect as many items as you can before you need to resupply trader, deliver your first batch of moonshine, then collect for another 50 minutes, rinse and repeat, and you're good to go there. During a six hour play session, you'll get the $3,688 from collecting, you'll get $625 from trader goods sold in a long distance delivery, and you'll also get $904 from four different $226 Berry Cobbler Moonshine recipe deliveries as well. So that is definitely a really good grinding method. That is awesome. That's going to earn you $5,217 in about six hours. And if you keep that up for a full week, that's $36,519 if you want. Now, moving on, let's talk about triple gold, money, and XP on the featured series. 
Triple Gold Money and XP are available for the Halloween PvP game modes this month, and these modes are really worth it if you're a big PvP player or if you're new to the game. The matches last about 9 minutes, and you can earn 72 gold nuggets and almost $70 per match this month. This will accumulate into a significant amount of earnings over time as long as you're present when the match ends. While not everyone enjoys PvP, these modes are definitely lucrative money and gold making opportunities. And if you need the collector roll to start collecting, even though it's on a 5 gold bar discount this month and only costs 10 gold bars in total, you could definitely get this roll really fast by playing this mode and getting the triple gold, or if you need any other roll in the game, the triple gold earned in the featured series this month is highly worth it. Next up, we have double gold money and XP on the Halloween call to arms. This is also a pretty straightforward bonus we've talked about a lot as well. This is a lucrative bonus, and this is going to allow you to earn two gold bars, $600, and over 4,000 XP in about one hour with the Halloween Call to Arms maps. We have seven of them currently in the game right now, but there are another three coming out on October 17th. This is definitely a challenge to get to wave 10 on these Halloween Call to Arms maps. Watch out on the Sandini Graveyard. I got absolutely destroyed on my live stream the other day, and chat was laughing at me. It was pretty funny. I could not make it past the first few waves. It was honestly just really hard because the machete enemies would spawn right there immediately on round one. It's kind of crazy. Moving on, we have Triple Money XP on the Collector Free Roam events. These are Salvage as well as the Condor Egg. So these are pretty decent here. They range from about, you know, maybe $35 to $50 per match. But the downside is you have to be invited to these specific ones. And so you may not be online playing to get an invite at that particular time. Also, just to confirm here, the Condor Egg is not selling for $3,000. It's just the money and XP that you make for actually participating in the game mode itself. And then finally, we wrap up with the triple gold on the Collector Award resets. This one's okay, because now you're gonna get 1.20 gold bars per Collector Award reset. However, since there is no Collector Roll expansion in the game, and there's nothing even close to as lucrative as that Bounty Hunter Experience reset award from last month, where you can make 1.5 gold bars and $300 each reset. This is still a bonus worth keeping in mind because every player can take advantage of it as long as they're doing anything related to Collector and they're completing those rewards so they can reset them, but you're probably not going to be making as much gold and money from this as you would with that Bounty Hunter reward reset. But that's all we have time for today, so we're going to be wrapping things up right here. Hopefully you all enjoyed the video today, and if you did, hopefully I earned your like on it, and of course if you are new to my channel and you want to stay up to date with all the best Reddit Online and Rockstar Games content, then please consider hitting that subscribe button so you don't miss out on a single thing we post here on the channel. We consistently talk about updates, news, information, tips, tricks, and even leaks, and we'll keep you guys updated here on the channel daily. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you want to follow me over on Twitch, Twitter, and Instagram, those are the best places to get connected with me outside of YouTube, and you're more than welcome to ask me any questions on those platforms. You can follow me at Hazardous HDTV, and all of my social media links can be found in the description down below. With all that being said, thank you all so much for watching, everyone. Hopefully, you all have a fantastic day, and I will see you guys in the next Red Dead online video. I have a lot of really fun Halloween related videos coming to the channel this month. So with that said, adios amigos. See you later.